guys! I'm sitting somewhere different today. Uh, I've been trying out some different places in the house to see where the lighting is best and where I could kind of potentially sit somewhere and have a decent amount of workspace in front of me and I think I'm going to be commandeering Milo's bedroom from now on. So you may see more of this uh, background behind me. Um, although at the weekend if you guys follow me on Instagram you may have seen a post that made you think perhaps you wouldn't see very much more of this or me at all, because I posted something on Instagram on Saturday afternoon that was very self-indulgent and kind of woe is me um, and I just appreciate that people didn't kind of completely call me out for being a complete dickhead because it really was like, hmm, I was sitting there thinking, oh, I feel sorry for myself and so I posted something and the response was so overwhelming that I felt like not only did I have to follow up on Instagram but I wanted to make a video as well. Um, basically, and you guys will probably know because other people have been talking about it a little bit, uh, but from my perspective, I don't tend to look very outwardly YouTube-wise at what other people are doing. I don't tend to compare myself to very many people because I'm so far from the blogging, madding crowd here in Yorkshire that I never really kind of compare myself to anyone because I don't think, I don't think it would be fair to myself because um, I'm so far from like so many opportunities and things and I honestly do not resent anyone for the opportunities they, that they have. Have I seen things and thought, wow, oh my god, that would be amazing, I wish I could do that, 100%. But I've never felt like, as a blogger, someone else doing well is taking something away from me. And so, I never really kind of looked at other people and thought, oh, I wish I was doing that, until very, very recently, um, and I started to look around a little bit more, partly because of the dwindling numbers, because views and subscribers and things with the changes in YouTube are changing massively for a lot of us. You start to think, well, how can I change that? How can I kind of get back something that I had before? How can I be more current? And I just felt like I didn't really fit in. I didn't really belong. I look around at the people that are doing really well and I think, well, I feel like about 10 years older than most of these people. And I'm so far removed from their situation that I just couldn't see a way that I could manoeuvre myself back into being relevant in today's YouTube climate because things have changed, what people want to see have changed, the very very popular YouTubers have changed, once upon a time a beauty blogger could be anyone sitting in their bedroom, they just needed to love what they were doing and what they were talking about and now it is such a massively populated and competitive place that unless you can really share something interesting or you can share something um, that you know a how-to of some kind or a skill you know makeup artists for example um, where do you fit what do I bring to the table now that there are so many people out there that bring so much more than me I felt too old for YouTube I felt completely redundant and um, I just started to think well maybe after seven years this is it maybe it's kind of run its course for me and maybe that's okay maybe I move on to something different. And I don't mean something different completely, like completely leave YouTube, but maybe I just move into something that is more me. And so I posted something, you know, maybe it's time for me to move on to something new. And I got so many comments that were amazingly supportive, but also some really great advice. And some of the advice I really took on board, some of it was kind of well, just, you know, give it one last push. Someone said, um, oh, I wish I could remember exactly what it was, but it was something along the lines of the urge to give up is strongest um, the closer you get to success. Uh, and just a lot of people were kind of saying, well, just maybe take some time, blah, blah, blah. I don't feel like it is a break that I need because I love making YouTube videos. I just felt like maybe it wasn't for me anymore, or maybe I wasn't for you. I tried to get myself out of this Miss Budget Beauty Box that I'd put myself in and become something new and I was branching out into multiple different things and I mean I, I massively like I, I find it really difficult to focus on one thing for a long period of time um, and so I get bored really quickly and I like to to do different things here there and everywhere but I think in doing that I kind of lost my way and I ended up with no focus or direction whatsoever it was just kind of like meandering around and ended up making really really samey content you know stuff that I thought people might be interested in watching and so I would make that or a video that was easier to make and I wasn't even interested in making them, let alone wanting to watch that kind of content from the people I watch. So I kind of lost my way and I wanted to get the direction back. But by the time I was rethinking my YouTube channel, I was like, well, can I really get back into a direction that is of interest to people? Or is this just me kind of finally burning out for the last time? I kind of took a step back and read through all of the comments and thought, okay, if, if I'm staying 
on YouTube, if I stay around, something has to change, something massive has to change for me to stay interested, to stay interesting, and to try to keep up with the new generation of beauty vloggers, um, and just vloggers in general, while staying me, without trying to be someone that I'm not, without trying to be all things to all people, I wanted to find the new me on YouTube. I still love beauty products, that is still my main passion when it comes to talking to people about things. If There's a lot of things that people will ask me about and I'm like, yeah, okay, I have an interest in that. I mean, TV, I could talk about TV all day long, but um, I still have a massive interest in beauty products and if people talk to me about it, I'm still like really, really excited to talk to them about that. And so I don't really wanna lose that side of things. I still want to talk about beauty, but I'm not a makeup artist. I can't show you how to apply something. All I can do is show you how I apply things, the products that I love, why I love them, and I'm showing you them from a perspective of a completely non-skilled beauty junkie rather than an artist, which I feel like is not an entire beauty channel anymore. Once upon a time, but not anymore. Now, if you're looking for beauty, you are looking for someone who has got skill, and maybe they do the opinion thing as well, but I don't think that I can sustain a beauty channel on my knowledge alone. I love style, but I'm definitely not into it enough to be a fashion blogger. Um, also, I feel like every single time that I have focused on style, it makes me really quite self-conscious and um, less self-confident because you start to really analyze your body. Here, it's just head and shoulders, you know, not too much to worry about. Um, but then when you start looking at full length shots of yourself or worst case, moving images, Jesus, that's not for me. Um, and so, that's, that's not my kind of thing. I am a mom, so maybe I'm a parenting blogger, a mummy blogger, but I don't think that I am. I'm not that kind of person. I do share clips of my kids in vlogs, but I don't really want my success to hinge on my children being on the internet. My kids are older than a lot of parenting bloggers and family vloggers, um, and so I think that they're kind of of an age where they should be able to decide whether they want to be in a video or not, and I don't want to make myself a family vlogger and then everything go away when one day my children go, I don't really want to do that anymore. So that's not for me either. I do like to share little bits of that. And um, I like to have that for kind of like the future. And when I go on holiday and travel and stuff, I love to video it, but I don't want that to be the be all and end all of my presence on the internet. I am over 30. I have two children. I'm married. I still have a part-time job. I still am close enough to remembering how much it costs the average person to buy a 50 pounds eyeshadow palette. I'm not, I feel like I still have a little bit of real life perspective and I am older than your average vlogger these days and so I do have a little bit more life experience and perspective than maybe the younger people do. Don't get me wrong, they have tons going for them that I do not have, but I have to look at what I bring to the table that is different to them and if I don't believe that I bring something different, then why would anybody else choose to watch something that I put out there rather than something else that is potentially more polished and a bit more beautiful. Um, I suppose it all comes down to, with, with a lot of things, if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will believe in you. If I ever did decide to quit YouTube, I don't think I would ever absolutely quit. I think I would always have some kind of slight upload occasionally, even if it was once a month, because I know as a viewer how irritating it is for a YouTuber that you absolutely love to just disappear off the face of the earth and you never hear from them again. It's like, I put so much into this relationship and then they just went away. And so I'll never do that. Um, but I, I kind of can see potentially maybe one day it dwindling out for me. Um, I mean, you know, it has been seven years. And after seven years, if you're not reconsidering a job, no matter how much you love it, it would be strange. So um, as my one last big push, I am gonna make a big change to my channel and we're gonna do some different things in the next few months and see how that goes. The biggest change is gonna be, I'm bringing my weekly vlogs over from my other channel. So my other channel's still gonna be there. My Diary of a Spendaholic channel is still gonna be there, but that's gonna be for my luxury videos that I don't wanna put here and there's gonna be um, less regular videos over there. I'm, gonna I'm just gonna worry less about that channel and make this channel my main focus. There will be our weekly vlog. We're starting over with weekly vlog number one, which will go up this Sunday and um, it will be every single Sunday morning because that seems to be the thing. People like a Sunday morning vlog. So we're gonna try it out. And on a Sunday morning, there will be a weekly vlog every single week. I promise that will be my commitment to you because I haven't been very consistent in the past with weekly vlogs, but I will be because it's here on this channel. And then on a Wednesday, I'm gonna be posting um, whatever else I've decided to film that week. So it might be, 
a chatty video like this, or it might be a beauty video, a haul, whatever. I do know that you guys really enjoyed the come shopping with me, so I'm gonna do more of those. I really enjoyed that as well. It's kind of like an alternative haul and I'm gonna do more of the um, wear and compare because if I'm, if I'm only focusing on one beauty video per week, then I have a little bit more time. So I'm gonna focus more on quality over quantity. I may add in a third video if it works for me at some point, or maybe it'll be like an occasional third video. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be doing more of what I enjoy making, more of what I would enjoy watching, rather than making content for other people, I'm gonna make it for me. I actually watched a video, I think she's called Danny Mansuti. I could be butchering that, I apologize. Um, but I watched a video the other day and she was talking about um, how social media has such an impact on our self-worth, uh, our generation. And uh, she said that when she was losing views and she was losing subscribers, she kind of spiralled and felt worthless. And I thought, I was watching this video like the, the morning after I'd had my little mini meltdown. And I thought, oh my God, like as a YouTuber, I mean, generally social media in general anyway has such an impact on all of us now. But as a YouTuber, your success and your self-confidence really does hinge on the acceptance of strangers and it's such a strange thing but when that goes away I've never been someone who when my subscriber count goes up when I get a lot of views that that makes me enjoy YouTube more I'll be really happy because one video is done really well but I don't enjoy making the video right now knowing more people are going to watch it that was never something that my happiness hinged on and yet when that okay, went down that definitely had a negative impact and um, the video she made was really, really great, and I'll try to remember to link it below, although you guys know I'm terrible at things like that. Um, but I think it just kind of gave me a little bit of a wake up as to whether or not that's really important, and it's really not, is it? Uh, it's more important that we enjoy what we're doing, and as long as I'm enjoying it, I'm gonna keep doing it, but I do want to make some changes, because much as it is fun, and much as it is still a hobby that I really enjoy, it is also my job as well, and I want it to be successful, and so I'm kind of going back to the drawing board. This past year, I feel like I've been saying that for quite a while now, um, but this past year I just kind of lost my way completely. I stopped planning for things, I stopped organising things, I was very, very regimented with my uploads once upon a time, and it really did kind of take over my life. And I took a massive step back and was more relaxed about it, but I think it's probably time I did that again, at least for a little while, just till I feel like I've got myself back on track because I definitely just was meandering a little bit too much. So hopefully my content will change for the better. Um, who knows? But thank you so much for those of you that did leave me comments on Instagram and on Facebook, um, encouraging me to keep going and um, giving me some awesome advice. It is difficult to find people over 30 on YouTube. I totally take that on board. Lots of people said that and um, I feel like I was trying to keep up with the youngsters when perhaps I should be moving into my next phase and um, that that kind of is my new position. So we'll see, we'll see. But thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and uh, look out for my next video on Sunday, which will be the first weekly vlog.